hello students this video lecture is for class 5th lesson 2 and part 3 in the last part we have discussed about adaptation in aerial animals now we will see adaptation for breathing in different animals so let's start different animals breathe in different ways they breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Breathing animals living in different habitats have organs for breathing to suit their environment. Now what this paragraph is telling us that that different animals breathe in different ways. They breathe in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. And breathing animals live in different types of habitats and have different breathing organs to suit their environment. Next is lungs. All mammals, birds, reptiles and amphibians in their adult stage breathe through a pair of spongy elastic bags called lungs. Air enters the body through the nostrils and reaches the lungs through a tube called the wind tube. Oxygen from the air is absorbed by the blood in the lungs and blood gives up the carbon dioxide in the lungs which goes out of the body through nostrils. So what information is given here that all the mammals, birds, reptiles and amphibians all breathe through a pair of spongy elastic pads called lungs at the adult stage, air enters through their nose and through a tube called windpipe and goes to the lungs, where oxygen is absorbed by the blood in the lungs and given out carbon dioxide, which is thrown out of the body through the nose or nostrils. Next is gills. Animals like fishes, tadpoles, which are baby frogs, shrimps, oyster, prawns, and crabs breathe the oxygen dissolved in water through their gills. Gills are feathery organs enclosed in pouches present on each side of the head of the animal, where oxygen rich water passes over their gills. It gets absorbed and carbon dioxide is given out. So, gills are the organs which are found in the aquatic animals such as fish, tadpoles, shrimps, oyster, prawns, and crabs. What they do is they take out the dissolved oxygen which is present in water and gives out carbon dioxide. Now let's move forward. Spiracles. Insects breathe through their tiny air holes called spiracles on their bodies. These spiracles lead into a network of branching tubes called the trachea or air tubes. Air enters the spiracles and then passes through the trachea. Oxygen from air is absorbed by the tissue of the body where carbon dioxide is removed from the body through the spiracles. So what, the, uh, what this paragraph tells is that spiracles is present in insects which are connected to the branching tubes or network of branching tubes called as trachea or air tubes. Air enters through spiracles then passes through trachea, oxygen from Air is absorbed by the tissue of the body where carbon dioxide is removed from the body through spiracles. Now, let's move to the next part, which is skin. Because few insects are made to bleed through their skin. Many lower animals like amoeba breathe through the body surface. Animals like frog and earthworm breathe through their moist skins. 
earthworm takes in oxygen present in the air trap between the soil through its moist body surface. So what few animals do? They take oxygen directly from the air through their skin. Such examples are amoeba, earthworm, frogs, etc. Next you can see here where there is the following column A and column B. There's two that is fill in your books. Insects, what they used to be is pericles. Fish, as I have told, all the aquatic animals, all the animals which lives in water use gills. So fish uses gills to breathe. Birds uses lungs and frogs uses moist skin as we have studied just now in this skin paragraph that more, uh, frogs uses moist skin to breathe so this was your part 3 if you have any doubt please do comment and 